Thank you, you very much. Mr. Barrett, please. About the purchase before or after? Uh, the minister's office was actually informed before the perfect before the purchase. Okay. And who in the minister's office was informed? Mr. Chair, uh, I, following the delegation of authority, we actually communicated as per normal protocol, and we've informed the um, minister's office, more precisely, the chief of staff. Okay. On what date was the minister's chief of staff informed, and on what date was uh, the sale finalized? Uh, minister. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd have to go back to the chronology, but if I, my memory plays well, um, for the actual uh, purchase, we've informed the, um, if you bear with me, um, the intent to, uh, to purchase and sell in early June 2024. 20, That's when you informed the minister? Yeah. Okay. What's the total cost, just the number, to make any fit-ups for the new residents? Mr. Chair, uh, in terms of fit-up costs, uh, we we don't have the precise detail uh, financial information, but what I could say, it's probably around $100,000 to $150,000. $150,000. Yeah. The shared space with the UN Embassy, how much was spent on that in 2018? I referenced it earlier, the meeting space. Um, Mr. Chair, I wouldn't have that information out of my hand, but I would be pleased to I'll provide that information back to the So that was in 2018 that that space was was acquired. And is it rented or owned? Mr. Chair, um, I will turn to my colleague, uh, Mr. Dubot. Mr. Dubot, rented or owned? I would have to confirm. Okay. I don't have the information. You don't know. It seems relevant to this because the rationale for purchasing the $9 million condo for Justin Trudeau's buddy on Billionaire Row is predicated on not having a kitchen at the facility that Global Affairs Canada under the Trudeau government acquired in 2018. And now here we are in 2024, and we've got to buy a $9 million condo because someone, forgot Global Affairs kitchen. Canada under Justin Trudeau, uh, forgot to put a kitchen in. And I'm looking at the kitchen on the listing for, for the $9 million condo. And I'm quite curious about the square footage of this because it doesn't look like a commercial kitchen. And um, I'm just curious, yes or no, is it your contention that all food prep for events hosted at the official residence will be done on site and not in a commercial kitchen? On site or commercial kitchen? Je ne peux pas répondre à cette question par oui ou par non. Mais est-ce que la préparation de nourriture se fera sur les lieux ou dans une cuisine commerciale? Le chef de mission pourra prendre une décision là-dessus. Oui, j'aimerais interrompre très brièvement. Two minutes, Mr. Barrett. The head, the head of mission can decide. It seems, uh, it seems foolish then to buy a nine million dollar condo um, because it has a kitchen that can accommodate these functions. That the office that you acquired in 2018 apparently you forgot to include a kitchen, and uh, but he still might um, have a commercial kitchen prepare the food um, and hosts any number of events at restaurants. Could you table for the committee, please, Mr. Cousineau, the number of functions that. Mr. Clark has uh, expensed at restaurants um, since his time as uh, CG. Can you table that for the for the committee? Mr. Chair, I can certainly look at the information that's available in that context and provide it to the table. Okay, that's that's great. How many official functions has Ambassador Ray hosted at his residence? Mr. Chair, I'm going to actually turn to uh, Mark Allen, uh, responsible for the operation. Mr. Uh, Allen, uh, just the number, please. How many how many events? I'm afraid I don't have the number for Mr. Ray. Can you table it with the committee, please? We certainly will. Uh, this is, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Mr. Allen, I want to ask you a quick question. Is it your contention that um, had those uh, meetings that occurred at the official residence um, with Mr. Clark, had they happened um, at, the, uh, at the office of the Consul General and not in his residence, that Canada would not have succeeded in those, in those trade negotiations or uh, in those acquisitions? Is, is that what your, your statement is? 
I can't speak about those specific events. Um, I, I, I think the, 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 the intimacy and the personal nature of, a, of an official residence for a, a head of a Canadian mission does add to their, their general toolkit. Right. So if that was the case, wouldn't it make sense then in 2018 to have acquired a joint space that, that achieved that for both the UN, uh, our UN rep, and for um, the CG instead of buying um, separate, uh, separate facilities for that purpose? Again, I think having having um, multiple options for different types of event is, well, is very important. When you're important. playing with other people's money, I guess you can have as many options as you need. Okay. That is our time. Mr. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Mr. Kuzmirchuk, and then we will take a short uh, suspension. Mr. Kuzmirchuk from Sunny Windsor. Go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Kuzno, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I just wanted to have a, a sort of a quick response so I can get through them. I just wanted to ask you, all procedures uh, for procurement how were followed. So this was done by the book. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. We have followed all the policy from Treasury Board, all the internal guidelines from uh, from from GAC. So all Thank the process you. was followed. Yep. Thank you. You did an 88-page analysis of this decision on this property. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, I couldn't speak about the amount of pages of that analysis, but, but, but there was an analysis. A deep analysis was done. Is that correct? analysis i couldn't qualify the analysis but definitely there was analysis that actually perfect. met all the criteria and the process perfect you you visited 21 properties uh, uh is that correct and the value of those properties ranged from 8 million to 21 million is that correct roughly speaking you looked at 21 properties yes we actually work with uh, a real agent uh, real agents um, uh, to actually visit 21 properties absolutely you selected the property that was on close to the lowest uh, uh, cost is that correct mr. chair it was In among the, it was among the lowest costs exactly you saved taxpayers three roughly three million dollars or renovations of the old property correct Mr. Chair, indeed, like uh, the fact that we're actually purchasing a new residence will prevent the actual investment for the of the renovation that was required. You're saving taxpayers 50% on monthly costs. Is that correct with the new uh, property? Mr. Chair, absolutely, that is correct. And I just want to clarify that it's cheaper because we will be tax exempt uh, thanks to the Vienna Convention. So you won't be paying taxes on this new property. You were paying taxes on the old one. So that's saving money for the taxpayer. Over the life cycle costs, you're, you mentioned about 150, 15,000 annual savings, which over, let's say, 50 years owning this building, that's going to be about $5 million in just monthly costs, savings uh, to Canadian taxpayers. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. It is 115,000, which is half of the expenditure we've done annually uh, for uh, the previous uh, apartment. Thank you. So over the life cycle, that right there is about $5 million saving for the Canadian taxpayer. Now, after selling the old apartment, the Canadian taxpayer is actually going to be about $4 million ahead uh, in terms of uh, costs on this. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, absolutely. Like the, if we compare the sale of the current condo versus the Perfect. next condo, we'll be presenting roughly a $4 million uh, saving. Perfect. And now the new uh, apartment is accessible, whereas the old apartment was not accessible. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, there's a lot of new uh, things that are positive in this new condo, but and accessibility is one of them. Wonderful. And in addition to all of these things, there's a value add. You're going to actually be able to host meetings at this new apartment, and you host about 50 meetings per year, and you're going to be able to host that as this new apartment, which you were not able to do at the old apartment. Is that correct? Chair, um, this is correct. Okay, so what we have here is we have a better apartment, we have an upgraded apartment, we have more functionality, it is cheaper, and it saves Canadians taxpayers. The conservative plan, the conservative plan costs more, less accessible, less functionality, less effective, which basically describes the conservative party in a nutshell uh, right there. And so this is, to me, this is, this is incroyable. Uh, and, and so, and I look at the fact in my community, so you're talking about a trillion dollar uh, trade partnership between Canada and the United States. One third, it's a trillion dollar uh, uh, partnership. One third of that trade goes through my community. So I care about 
I care about making sure that we have uh, the best uh, a consul general and we have the best folks in place and we have the best resources in place. And the conservatives are talking about downgrading, downgrading the Canada-U.S. partnership and our ability to play hardball. And hardball is what we're doing because it's a trillion dollar investment. And I look at what the liberal government has done to negotiate a NAFTA trade that was for our benefit, that helped our steel industry, that helped our auto industry. And you're darn right that we wanna upgrade our resources there, not downgrade our resources, which is what the conservatives have done. And it's exactly their playbook, what they did to the Canadian military as well. When they were in government, they downgraded investment in our military. Now they wanna downgrade investment in our most important trade relationship with our with our U.S. partnership, that's a shame. And so again, and that is, that is our time, Mr. Kuzmirchuk. Uh, we are going to take a short break. Please be ready at uh, uh, fit, or twenty-five minutes to the hour, please. Thank you.